So I have this kind of grand vision of what ballet can be, right? The potential of it and the potential of the people. And you want to know something? The art is already inside you, right? Everything that you're capable of is already inside you. It's already there, right? All of your potential is already there, right? It's a question of training and experience to get it out, right? So that's what I do. So you need opportunity and training and experience to pull out your full potential, to be even made aware of your full potential. That's, you know, that's like step one. And this is all part of the sort of grand vision of what, what it can be. But there's one, there's one major component of ballet that we have to solve for. We have to get rid of shame. Shame, if we don't address shame in any real way, ballet cannot, cannot have this renewal that it absolutely needs, or resurrection, you might say, as it absolutely needs. We really can't accomplish anything significant or meaningful or long-term until we address this, this real problem. So again, we could go into shame from a psychological standpoint, but that's not really going to solve anything. Because it, shame, has, is, as far as my history has, tells me, has been since the beginning. The whole institution, hundreds of years of history, shame is at the core of that. It's one of the things that plagues this art form, right? And everyone in it, to some extent. So in my own life, you know, we've all been there and I learned over many years how to get rid of that. So for example, I can't be shamed other than I could do something to make me ashamed of myself. I could do that, but you can't shame me and they can't shame me and she and he and they. Nobody else can shame me, you see? And this is a powerful thing to realize and to develop. And we need to do this in ballet as in we do everywhere. So the question is then how? How? How do we go from a place of shame and, and really, if I'm being honest, all kinds of things going on to a place of, I can't be shamed. It's a powerful place to find yourself, right? And it makes you resilient, very resilient to the world around you. And leadership depends on being able to, to not be shamed in that way, right? To, to take criticism and deal with it in such a way that doesn't create these, these personal problems, right? So the bottom line is, in drawing the art out of you, you are either trained or you're untrained. And the training that we provide, that's really how an artist gets made. It's, it's dealing with the adversity of training your body against the nature of how our body was made, right? We're parallel. Well, now we want to do this, right? And then move this way. And even harder than the muscles in your body and the ligaments and your bones and everything working, it's that your mind, your orientation, becomes accustomed to that new way of moving, right? Which is perpendicular to the way we're made. That whole process is where the artist comes from. So whatever is already in them, the origin of you, this is how we get that out. And doing that work in the way that I give it, and you know, more people will begin to do it that way. If you begin that way, you just won't have the shame part of it, right? Because it's about work. I'm about the work. If you didn't already recognize that, I'm about the work. That's, you know, that's it. We come, we work, we accomplish. And, but for dancers who are already dancing and of some age, again, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again and again, is step one, train. Alleviate, well, as much as possible. Alleviate and then ultimately eliminate injury. Eliminate that aspect of suffering. And then you'll feel different as a human being. And then now we're off in a great direction where your body is healthy and strong and working well. Your mind is going to go to a totally different place. You begin to feel better than everyone around you begins to feel better in and out of ballet. 
And so we, when we talk about you know, the water rises together, well, this is how you do it. You focus on the training, this specific training, placement, right? The way I do it, placement training. And of course, we're working to replicate this around the world. So that's how we begin to sort out the shame question. And then we can get on with building the ballet world and culture that we all want, right? Mm -hmm.